Right, this morning we're going to have a look at this um, hybrid which has been hid away in a corner there, I've slightly ignored it, we've done a lot of reviews in the last few months, and it's the Wilson D9 hybrid. Now first of all, I think it looks incredible, but the big deal about this, where it's priced, it's £149 uh, UK pounds, that's probably £50 cheaper than its nearest rival in terms of 2021 releases. But as you know, we don't measure uh, anything based on price. I suppose it's all about performance. We've got to get ourselves off to four golf, get Trackman switched on and uh, see if this thing, well, if it performs as good as it looks, then it could be a potential bargain at 149 quid. I have to say on a positive note, I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's one of the best looking hybrids I've seen on the marketplace this year in 2021. And when you, price, when you look at the price points compared to how good it looks, that's the biggest surprise I've got. In terms of profile, it's probably more like, I'd say, more of a player's type profile. It's fairly small and compact. So that's the bit that surprises me because generally this product would be aimed at, I would think, a more of a sort of game improvement style hybrid. And I wouldn't class it as that. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to put it to a test. We're going to pick an interesting par four um, on Trackman. We'll see if we can find some fairways while we're collecting some data. And then what I want to do at the end of all this, I want to put it up against what I think is probably the best hybrid that I've tested so far this year, and that's the Ping G425. And we'll see how it compares and see where the difference is between 150 quid for this and at the top end, the Ping G425 is 219 pounds. So what are the differences? I get up from my comfy chair, hit some balls and we'll find out. So my initial feedback, we've hit quite a lot of balls, more than I normally would. I've just leaked that one into the rough a bit. Uh, so we're playing, um, what is the first hole at uh, Le Golf National, which uh, is in Paris where the Ryder Cup was a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a fairly daunting tee shot, I would think, for uh, if you're playing there. But anyway, for my personally, I'm uh, leaking a few out to the right, hose at that cut, so struggling to find the fairway. Eventually you'll start to see a few balls that do find uh, the middle when we make our adjustability. But what I will say, without seeing the data up close, what I've seen on the screen is we've been in and around the sort of uh, that 175 to 1. 80 carry quite consistently so the numbers look pretty good the spin number is good as well um peak height and the way this ball is launching what i'm seeing out there is really interesting so in all honesty it's performed really well and like i said I've, the, the data tiles that i've seen so far look incredibly good interesting start to be fair and uh, and quite impressed Right, now as I said, we're going to put this uh, up against the Ping G425, which I think has been a particularly uh, good product release in 2021. You'll see from some of the shots I've hit on exactly the same golf hole that often it is very much down to the Indian and not the arrow, as I like to say. And uh, our, in terms of dispersion and performance, was probably very much similar in terms of the two products. But the one very notable difference the minute you get the G425 out of the bag and put it down at a dress is the size of the profile in the head. And I mentioned earlier, it's a bit of a surprise to me as to what Wilson have done with this club because I think at 149, you've got a product there that's very much aimed at appealing to the masses. And I think that a lot of players will look at that hybrid and it's perhaps a little bit marmite in terms of its size because it's got that sort of player's profile. The Ping G425 by comparison is almost well, it's huge by comparison. And I always think about confidence and which one I would prefer to address. And for me, that would certainly be the uh, G425. So I think they made a bit of a mistake there in terms of its profile. But don't forget, at the end of the day, that's very much a, a subjective and individual opinion, but I'd be interested in your thoughts. And the second thing is, and a question I always ask in terms of comments from yourself, is that this is a Wilson product. I think their reputation has built over the last few years in terms of the irons that they've brought out, but we still see these products priced a low price point, but how many of you are going to be persuaded to give this one a test and maybe put it in the bag? That's the bit I'm interested in from yourself. So comments down below, are you going to test the Wilson D9 hybrid fairways or the driver for that matter? Right now I said Trackman 4 would bring us some interesting challenges and what we're going to do is uh, later on in this video, I'm going to put these two clubs head to head on the 11th hole at Le Golf National. And as you can see, it's an interesting par three, 183 yards, so don't go anywhere and see which one comes out on top in this test. I'm excited for this one. Right, data collected for both clubs, and I point to mention these are both set at 22 degrees in terms of the head, but they do have slightly different shafts in that may have uh, played some part in these numbers. But um, that aside, I'll put them in front of you now. We've got, first of all, the numbers for the uh, D9 hybrid. 
126 ball speed, 5.2 spin, 183 carry, 15.4 launch, 94 peak height, and a land angle of 45.1. Two interesting things there for me are, this kind of club is still at a four hybrid of 180 carry. It's a, it's a replacement effectively for your long irons. So you're gonna be wanting to use it on, uh, on a long par three or maybe uh, a tight par four, but you're certainly gonna be hitting into greens with this type of club in the bag. And for that, you're gonna want a decent spin number and a decent descent angle, which effectively means this ball is gonna stop on the green. And I think it does both of those things. You'll see the peak height is very high at 94. Spin, arguably, maybe a tad high at 5'2", but it really did it all the numbers. You'll see dispersion very shortly for both clubs and uh, no secrets away, when I hit the ball well, it did well. And when I didn't, then obviously I missed fairways. And that's the same with any club you test. Um, but I'm gonna put up the numbers now for the Ping G425, which I have literally raved about in terms of how good it is and how good it looks. Um, slightly quicker ball speeds at 128, 48 spin slightly lower, 188 carry, 13.4 launch, 84 peak height, and uh, descent angle of 42.2. The only thing that differed there was the launch angle and the slightly lower spin. And that combination then impacted on land angle in terms of the descent angle it was coming down at and carried that little bit further. So everything was relative. I don't think anything was really majorly different. I did it a massive amount of shots and um, I'll try and put them up at the end, but I was struggling to get a screenshot of because uh, I couldn't get them all on screen. But, but trust me, you'll see from the dispersion that I might as well throw up in front of you now. We did it a fair few shots. Um, the red dots, uh, for those of you uh, you've seen, the Wilson is the red, the blue dots are that of the ping. And you pick the bones out of that because to be fair, there was a lot of good shots down the middle, but as ever, there's always gonna be the ones that I lose both left and right down to my uh, ability. But overall, they both did incredibly well. And I've gotta say, at this point, we're talking again, this is a second review uh, this week that you look at with Wilson products up against something that is far more expensive. And again, at this point, it's hard to justify what that difference in expense and cost is. But the, there are differences, but they're very much something that are down to personally what you're looking for. And at this stage, I don't want to talk about, I like the look of the ping, yes I do. I like the sound of the ping, yes I do. But arguably you try the two clubs out and you'd think entirely different. So just based on performance alone, these two things are hard to split. So that's data done. Now we need to see, I suppose the only way to choose a winner is to get back out on the sim get a par three challenge and see which one of these comes out on top. Right, so so far, not a lot to split these, but we've got to have this challenge on the 11th at Le Golf National. It's a great hole. All I'm gonna have is two shots each with each of the clubs. The yardage is sort of there or thereabouts. It's saying 183 to the flag and uh, anything short of that and you're in the water. So um, let's see how we get on. We'll give two shots with the Wilson first. That's not bad, you know. I hope I've got enough of it. Go. Is that enough of it? This could be really good. What a start for Wilson. Oh my word. Oh, it's just trickled off the back. That was a great start. What did I carry it? Carry distance 183. That was almost spot on. Just ran out of green at the back, right. Great start for Wilson. Let's try this one again. Too far down the left, I think. That could be left bunker. Decent strike, but I don't think there's enough cut on this one. Move ball, move ball. That's going in the bunker. Ah, oh, no, not bad. Right, what was that? 182 carry. So bang on the number in terms of distance. Now it's over to the Ping G425. And to be fair, I haven't really hit a green yet because that first one is on the fringe, but it's probably the closest ball in terms of the one that's got to, uh, it's going to have to beat. be good that could be good am i just starting these off just a little bit left am i no this could be really good sit down ball it's on the pin this is it's on the flag oh it's back bunker wow that was right on top of the flag i assume yeah 189 carry just a little bit too much out of that one 
Do you know what? I couldn't have hit the three balls any better and we've not got a ball on the green yet. We've had three going right at the flag. So we need a little bit taken off this. Ping, it's your last chance. And he's pulled it. He's tried to take a bit off it and he's pulled it. Ah, there ain't no turning back on that one. It's creeping back. But that's in the long rough. I think it's fair to say four of them not too bad in terms of the effort but the Wilson just pipped it with one on the fringe and uh, I think I'll go putter and see if I can get the birdie and that would be to win this match uh, 10 and 8 for Europe.